It's going yeah. It's going to be very brief. We're not going to take any questions. Um, the case has been reset to November the 4th for motions and stuff. The state has said they're going to ask this judge to be recused. They're filing a formal written motion today. So the judge will have to have a hearing by another judge and whether or not this judge will be recused or not. Uh, absent that, the judge indicated from the bench that if he is allowed to remain on the case, uh, that he's tried to have it on the docket of, of December the 1st. That's not in stone or anything. That's still to be determined by the judge. I want to tell everybody, look, this is a really good man that I'm incredibly proud to represent. This is a case about parenting decisions and whether something unfortunate happened when a parenting decision was made by a man who believes strongly and loves his children very much. We've been taking a, a good deal of stories that uh, have a different side of him. I would ask all of you uh, to please be tolerant of the fact that Adrian is chomping at the bit to publicly talk and to publicly defend himself. And the only reason he hasn't is us ins insisting and jumping up and down and saying, the solution is for you to get a speedy trial and to resolve all this in a courtroom. That's what we intend to do. We don't intend to try to respond to each and every allegation. I will tell you this. This man loves his children dearly. He is a really good guy. And he's the same guy he was before all of these things started happening publicly and people taking their shots. I urge all of you just to wait. Let's don't rush to judgment. This hysteria that we've had with the, this particular public figure, it always happens the same way. At the end, there's a totally another side that we'll be asking people to listen to and observe. I'm confident that when people hear and see the real Adrian, he'll be the same person before all this ever happened in other people's perception.